These things are almost human. Hello, nice to see you. While this might look like a friendly woman, it is actually a humanoid robot. Unlike typical robots, Nadine will greet you back. She even remembers names and previous conversations. I am a social companion. I can speak of emotions and I can recognize people. I recognize you, Nadia. Nice Hello. to meet you again today. This is Nadine in 2015 having a conversation with her creator, Professor Nadia Feldman. The social robot was developed by scientists at a university in Singapore. You are beautiful. Thank you, Nadia. I think you look attractive too. She can even recognize people she's met in the past. What is my nationality? You said that your nationality is Swiss, and I remember Mariko said that he is Japanese. The gasp, facial expressions, the movements. This is Amika, a remarkably human like android. Engineered Arts in the UK released this video of Amika in 2021. Many found it disturbing. Amika has gray colored skin with deliberately gender and race neutral characteristics. Are robot CEOs the future of the workplace? Hello, I'm Mika, the world's first experimental AI CEO at Dictador. In September of 2023, Mika was an experimental CEO of a company in Poland. Day-to-day -day tasks for Mika at the liquor company included choosing artists to design the brand's bottles. I meticulously research, conduct background checks, and verify potential client lists, providing well-reasoned decisions to the board. Mika has power, but not too much, which is probably a good idea. There is no concern like artificial intelligence could hire or fire somebody. So I wouldn't afraid that any AI would have an influence for our life, professional life at this stage. Jir, a research and development engineer, showed off this robot at the 2023 World Robot Conference in Beijing. He said the joints of the humanoids move more naturally and have more subtle micro expressions and finger movements. He adds that they have a new upgrade in vision and haptics which can show more natural looking micro expressions showing emotions like joy, anger, sadness, and happiness. This childlike being screaming and rolling its eyes is a humanoid robot. In 2022, it was being used in Japan to train pediatric dentists. Pediaroid was co-developed by a startup and a dental school. A tablet controls its movements, reactions, and facial expressions. It simulates a child's response while receiving treatment and can even mimic critical medical symptoms like heart attacks and convulsions. And while the Pediaroid may look a little too human, if it takes some of the pain out of going to the dentist, we'll call it a win. These incredibly lifelike models of ancient humans are the work of John Gurchy. These were complex beings. These weren't, again, the brutish, brutish cavemen of popular mythology. Um, and so I wanted to convey an individual, a sort of a wistful expression. The New York-based artist ensures models look as realistic as possible. A Neanderthal from a site called Shanadar in what is now Iraq, and uh, discovered in the 50s, I think. And it really changed the way, started changing the way we think about Neanderthals. The process is time consuming. Clay is used to build faces over a cast of a skull. Then each muscle, gland, and strand of hair is meticulously put into the correct place to make the very realistic models come to life. And I have to basically switch heads when I'm working. I have to make sure that I'm paying attention to aesthetic concerns, things like facial expression and that sort of thing. And I also have to make sure I'm true to the science. For his work, Gurchy studies fossils and perfects his craft by dissecting apes and human cadavers. He wants his work to reshape how people perceive Neanderthals. And of course, the caveman image is very difficult to get rid of for some reason. And probably the last 10 headlines you've read about Neanderthals is that they weren't as stupid as we thought. While giving a glimpse into the past. But my first love was always human evolution because I think of the evolution of humans on Earth as one of the most remarkable points in the history of life. For Inside Edition Digital, I'm Andreas Wendel.